Now we are watching this very cool masking transition of Stephen. In today's video editing tutorial, I'm gonna break down this transition and make it easy for you inside Adobe Premiere Pro. And you can make this kind of transition like Sam Calder. I put the link of this tutorial down in the description. Okay guys, now we can jump into Adobe Premiere Pro to make this transition. I already have two video clips on the timeline. Duration of these video clips is 2 seconds and they are drone footage moving in the same direction. Now what I have to do is I am moving this video to the 4th track of the timeline and place it exactly here. Now the duration has become 3 seconds. I'll apply this transition in this area which is on second length. Now I'll take the razor tool to make a cut exactly here. Then go back and select the selection tool. After highlighting this footage we can head to the effect controls under opacity. We can take the pen tool and we can draw a marks around the bridge very carefully. Now we can get back to the effect controls and click on the stopwatch of marks path to add a keyframe at the very beginning frame. As the video is moving so I have to set another keyframe of the marks path at the end of the video clip. Not so many keyframes because the bridge is not constantly changing its position. Now highlight the mask and go to the program monitor. It might be a bit difficult to change the position of the marks of this keyframe. To make it easy, all you have to do is double click on this name in the program monitor to make it maximize. Then change the zoom level to 50%. At this moment, we have to change the masking points as the bridge has moved a little bit. Now we can get back to our regular layout. After masking, this is the current condition of our video. We have lot of things to do to complete this transition. Now drag this video to the third track of the timeline to make it duplicate by holding down the alter key on the keyboard. Now hide the upper layer of the video by clicking on this eye icon. Now select this video layer, go to the effect controls and click on this inverted to see invisible portion of this video. Now click on this icon to go to the first keyframe after that select the marks then get back to the program monitor and change the zoom level to 25%. Change the position of the masking points for the first keyframe. Now click on this icon to go to the last keyframe. Again change the masking points for this keyframe. Now if I move the time indicator, you can see the masking condition for this selected video layer. Now it is mandatory to change the masking points of another video layer. First of all, we have to hide this video. Then drag this video to this track of the timeline by holding down the alt key on the keyboard to make it duplicate. Now click on this icon to go to the first keyframe. After that click on this inverted to see the other part of this video. Now highlight the marks and go to the program monitor and change the masking points. Now click on this icon to go to the last keyframe of this layer and again change the position of the masking points for this last keyframe. Now we can change zoom level to fit and it is time to unhide all of the video tracks of the timeline. I'm gonna apply transform effect so I have to nest these three videos. Go to the effects section and searching for the transform effect. After find out it, apply this effect to this nested video. Now select this video layer and after that heading to the effect controls. Under transform effect, we have to add a couple of keyframes of position. Make sure that time indicator at the first keyframe, then click on the stopwatch of position to add a keyframe. Now I'm moving the time indicator forward 20 frames based on this 25 frame sequence by holding down the shift key and hitting the right arrow key 4 times. Ok, click on this icon to add a keyframe in this position. Go to the first keyframe, click on this triangle icon. Now decrease the Y position's value till it goes out of the frame. If I move the time indicator then you can see the first animation of this bridge for this transition. Now click on this second keyframe and make it ease in. After that uncheck this and shutter angle value make it to 180 to get natural motion blur effect. Now select this nested video layer, go to the effect controls and do the same thing at a couple of keyframe of position. You have to add first keyframe at the beginning frame. Then you have to move the time indicator for a 20 frames based on this 25 frame sequence by holding down the shift key and hitting the right arrow key 4 times. Now you have to set keyframe in this position. Go to the first keyframe and increase the X position value till it goes out of the frame. 
now we can move the time indicator and have a look at program monitor to see the animation that we have done just right now okay now select the last and second keyframes of this video and make it ease in and go there and uncheck this shutter angle value make it to 180 to get natural motion blur effect as usual Now select the last nested video and go to the effect controls under transform effect we have added a keyframe of position at the first frame of this video layer then we are moving the time indicator to the right 20 frames and in this position add another keyframe now go back to the first keyframe by clicking on this icon then decrease the x position's value till it goes out of the frame to make the final animation for this transition so guys this is the animation we have done but here is an issue to fix this issue we have to right click on this keyframe and make it is in after that go there and uncheck this and make its value to 180 now hit the enter key on the keyboard to render this video for better playback i hope guys you really enjoy this transition tutorial you can watch other transition tutorials of this channel thank you for watching this transition tutorial see you later in the next tutorial till then goodbye